Yeah, hello everybody and welcome to my 12th Microsoft Excel 2013 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use nested formulas. Uh, nested formulas is quite a simple concept uh, and it's something that you need to get your head around uh, because as we go into more advanced formulas it's something I'm going to be using a lot. So the, the essential concept is, is we have a here in the last tutorial I created a series of formulas all in a row so I did the hour the minute the second the time uh, and then so on and so forth I've done it in lots of different steps so I've got first of all I spread out the hours the minutes and seconds then I put in a time and I added in the extra hour so the idea of nested formulas is you don't actually have to pass a formula for its parameter you don't have to pass it just a value you can pass it another formula that returns that type of value so we can put a formula in here that works out the number of hours the formula works out the minutes and the formula that works out a second so if i delete this and i instead just want to do time in one hour all i need to do is equals time and then i need to pass it an hour so i just type in the hour formula uh, and then I select the formula above and then I can do the plus one all in here uh, and then similarly for minute and you just put the minute formula in and because that returns a minute and it's passing it to a minute parameter then that's fine it's, f it's fine that it's nested like this and then second again uh, and then we just close off the time formula. Uh, what you'll notice is as you're in the formula, it will tell you which set of brackets you're in, uh, which parameter you're trying to fill in. So here I'm selected in this bit, so it's showing me I'm filling in the hour parameter. If I go inside here, it's telling me that I'm in the hour formula and I need to put in a, a time serial number. Uh, and that is basically it for nested formulas. What you've got to be careful of is sometimes trying to combine too many nested formulas into one. It's going to make your formulas really difficult to understand. I mean, I've had formulas before that are kind of three lines long. Uh, it's just insane. And quite often, they're not the most efficient ways to do things anyway. So don't go too extreme on the nested formulas, but there's quite a lot of times where they're going to be really useful. Uh, and that's going to be it for nested formulas. Very simple. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to go into absolute referencing. So I hope to catch you then.